The path I've taken from the streets of the Bronx to this moment on Hollywood Boulevard. And this all feels, I don't know, kind of surreal. I just wanted to be good at what I did. I wanted to be a great actress. I wanted to be a great singer. I wanted to be a great performer to share the joy of entertaining you. This is Hollywood with the mecca of entertainment around the world. It all starts right here. This is what it all comes down to. It all comes down to your family and working hard to love and protect and do everything that you can to make your family and the ones you love their lives better. It's thrilling to have Anna Mae Wong, the first Asian American actress as my neighbor. We could actually start our own little Chinatown right here. <laughs> I think about what a star is and I think about a star being liked for so many people. A star you can always see even in darkness. So my hope is that anyone in this town whose dreams may be on life support, I want you to walk past this star in particular and know that I've been there. This one in particular is for the underdogs. It's an incredible day. I'm trying to soak it all in. Here's the thing about these Hollywood stars. They're permanent. What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. Well, we get to see this star every day on the corner of Hollywood and Argyle. Lo único que les puedo decir es que siempre recuerden que trabajando mucho, sin descansar y respetándose uno mismo y respetando a los demás, se pueden lograr cosas que uno nunca se soñó. Gracias a todos mis fans por estar aquí y un beso a Colombia y a todos los colombianos que están aquí. Gracias por venir. I feel like a lot of people probably only ever thought I'd make it to the Walk of Shame, but here I am. Today for me is a celebration of something that my dad taught me and that is to thine own self be true. And if you walk along this boulevard and you look at these names, there is a power that lies in that. There's a power in believing in yourself. We bally hooly Hollywood, where any office boy or young mechanic can be a panic with just the Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Steve Nissen. I am the president and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Right. 
It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Hollywood Chamber's Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony, which we've proudly hosted for millions of people around the world that's being live streamed. And we've done this for more than 60 years, not all live streamed for 60 years, but the event has taken place over 60 years. And before we start, I'd like to give a big shout out to our fans watching around the world on live stream, presented by our media partner, Variety. as well as our new sponsor, Niagara Bottling. The Hollywood Walk of Fame recognizes achievement in the categories of motion picture, radio, live theater, sports entertainment, recording, and television. Today, in the category of television, we honor Ming-Na Wen. With With star number 2,757 on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's fitting that today, as we celebrate the last days of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we honor Ming-Na Wen, who has achieved so many firsts as a trailblazer in the AAPI community. Now, before we invite Ming Na to the stage, let me tell you a little bit about our honoree, and I hope you know all these things about yourself. <laughs> Ming Na Wen has been an actress for more than three decades, but her first TV appearance was rather brief. It lasted 60 seconds as a royal trumpeter on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. But after that, she truly became acting royalty in film and live theater, and in today's category, television. In television, she became the first Asian American to win a regular series role in daytime drama for four years, starting in 1998 as Leon Hughes in the venerable show, As the World Turns. This is a rowdy audience. Um, <laughs> She followed this with a multi-year run on the Emmy award-winning show, ER. <laughs> where she played Dr. Jing Mei Deb Chen. And to add to the realism of her role, her true life pregnancy with her first child was written into the ER script while she played Dr. Chen. And I'm happy to say mother and daughter are alive and well here today. <laughs> you know, another thing about that role is, as with many roles with our honoree, it was not originally written for an Asian American. Our honoree won this role based on her individual merit and talent. In live theater, she fulfilled her dream to be on Broadway in 1998 with David Henry Huang's Golden Child, which received a Tony nomination and won an Obie for Best Play. In movies, Ming-Na Wen had what many consider her breakout role as Jun Wu in the Joy Luck Club. and we will hear from members of that cast momentarily. Uh, that film was the first major studio movie with a predominantly Asian cast and broke through many barriers. She played Agent Melinda May in the ABC superhero drama Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Her nickname there was the Cavalry, and it looks like she brought the Cavalry with her today. And of course, in an animated classic that I probably watched 500 times when my children were young, Ming-Na was the voice and the heart and the soul of Mulan. Ming-Na can currently be seen as Fennec Shan in both The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. These two series of Lone, alone have garnered a combined total of 43 Emmy nominations and 18 Emmy wins. 
She remains the only actress, or actor, to complete the Disney hat trick as the Disney warrior Mulan, Marvel spy May, and Star Wars baddie Shan. And she's been named a Disney legend, one of the highest honors and awards given by Disney. Up next, Ming-Na is slated to shoot the lead of the film, Peachville. One other thing. In 2020, Ming-Na returned in a cameo role to the delight of her fans in the live action version of Mulan. Her role was to present the new Mulan to the emperor for the first time. In effect, she was passing the torch her name was not listed in the credits at the end. Uh, instead, she was listed as esteemed guest. So today, we will patch the torch. Please welcome our esteemed guest, Ming Nguyen. And Ming-Na is now trying out to be a director. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Before we hear from you, although I think we already have, um, we have three guest speakers here to say a few words. These three women have dominated the screen in many different films and TV shows individually, but some of their most iconic moments were together with Ming-Na in the Joy Luck Club. Please welcome Tamlin Tomita, Lauren Tom, and Rosalind Chow to the stage. My, 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 my. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, Ming, 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 Ming. <laughs> I'm Tamlin Tamita, and it's a true pleasure uh, to be first of the three of us because it has truly been joy and luck to know Ming Na Wen and to be in your orbit. So I first heard of this actress around 1988 who. I heard about this actress from New York playing a character named Lian on, on the world, As the World Turns that I auditioned for, and I'm sure that you guys auditioned for as well. So her, her character's name is Lian. Her name is Ming-Na Wen. A few months later, I got this other soap opera, Santa Barbara. But she, Ming-Na Wen, made such an impression, they named my character after the actress Ming-Na. My character's name was ming Li. <laughs> Ming-Na, meet ming Li. We were already connected before we had ever met. But in meeting her for the first time in Amy Tan's American classic, The Joy Luck Club, thank you, Janet Yang, for bringing us together. At our first read-through, I wondered how this exuberant, high-energy, noisy, laughing machine could play the quiet, meek, reserved, and unsure June. What a surprise to see you rise, not only on that first day, but every day since. I remember one morning on Joy Luck Club, we were all in the makeup trailer and she was joking around like she usually does. And because she has such a unique name that maybe she used to start using her name Ming singularly, like Cher or Charo or Madonna. But little did she know then that she would prophetically utter the words, your name will be legendary, with profound timing. We came up together in a time when there were very few Asian American actresses, so the presumption was that we were all rivals. But the truth is we all knew that we can only do our best, and that we all win some, we lose some. It was never about competition, rather than 
The fact is, is that when we would see each other at auditions, we would very often be so overjoyed at, at the chance at seeing each other to catch up, gossip, and laugh. And oh my God, did we laugh. We would sometimes laugh so loud that we would be very often shushed by like cast, today. yes, like today, <laughs> by casting assistants, by our moms on the set, by our real moms, by flight attendants on planes traveling across the country. <laughs> and by each other on stage. She was often what we call the minstigator, because in these laugh fests, when you laugh at, with her, you experience unbridled joy. Ming is not only a legend, she is her own Ming dynasty, triple crown winner, who has run the race that is almost unmatched. Mulan, Melinda May, Mandalorian mercenary Fennec Shan. She has a, 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 a like a, a, a market on n M names. And she continues to run the race, but she creates a path for those women to follow while always being humble and full of gratitude to those who preceded her, but always mindful and encouraging for those who will follow her. She works hard with heart, with honor, with humor, with honesty. Her divine ambition is coupled with fierce determination. Her dreams came true with sheer, sheer focus and hard work of knowing what she wants and knowing who she is and by working her ass off in being so bad ass. Yeah. She fought for it all with integrity, with thoughtfulness and with a true appreciation to all who helped, who assisted, who uplifted, and was somehow always remaining this simple, fun-loving Yinzer nerd from Macau who loved working and fully enjoyed everyone who worked with her. She truly is best quality daughter, daughter-in-law, mom to Michaela and Cooper, partner in crime and time with her love of her life, Eric, but we three are so proud of her as a peer, a confidant, a gossip, a castmate, a dear friend. In this circus of what we call Hollywood, this Ming leader somehow always inspired teamwork and camaraderie where around the rehearsal tables, the table readings, the poker tables where she was always the winner, and numerous dinner tables who made us feel that we were all in this together. We are a very, 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 very special club of joy and luck, but it is Ming-Na Wen who made us feel like sisters. Thank you for asking us to shine your light upon you as you continue to shine your light so many other girls who look like us can spread their wings to the stars like Ming's. without crying, okay, upside down. Oh my gosh, hello. Uh, Hi, Laura. Hi, Hi Lauren. I'm Lauren, Tom, and I, um, I need my glasses to see this. Um, <laughs> Ming has- I love your glasses. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ming has always been the connector of our group the one to organize get-togethers, usually at her home, where she would include everyone from the Joy Luck Club family. No one was ever left out. And she hosted with such ease, laying out copious amounts of Chinese food and drinks and desserts, making her friends feel welcome and cared for. See, that's how Ming rolls. With her infectious laugh and affectionate attention, she has raised these two incredible kids, Michaela and Cooper. They're okay. Yeah. <laughs> she looks after her friends like a big sister, even though she's the baby of our group. She is. And is currently taking care of both her own mom and her mother-in-law. Yep. That's not an easy thing, right? <laughs> and at a recent event where Ming was honored by Cape, I came to cheer her on but ended up attending by myself as my husband and the other gals couldn't make it. 
So there I was, looking a bit out of sorts, since I'm such an introvert, and standing on the sidelines somewhat awkwardly. Ming noticed and quickly scooped me up and brought me over to her husband, Eric, where she knew he would take care of me while she was accepting her award, making me feel instantly more comfortable. I mean, what a perfect team these two guys are. So, so loving. Such a great opportunity to be able to say this stuff. Ming has always been an inspiration to me. Wait, are you paying attention? Sorry, sorry. I'm going to start that sentence again. No, Roz was taking credit. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Should I set them up? Shushing, shushing. Okay. Shushing. Ming has always been an inspiration to me as I've watched her metaphorically open her arms wide and say, okay, universe, I'm ready for whatever you've got. <laughs> Give it to me. And she just can roll with whatever happens with grace and humility. But mostly what I'd like to impart about Ming is that her colossal talent and myriad accomplishments are matched only by her generosity of spirit and her kindness. She is the real deal. So thank you, Ming, for including us and letting us celebrate your success with you. We are so proud of you. You guys, it sucks being last. Okay, they've said, oh, I'm Rosalind Chow. Um, and they've already, they've already said Let's it all. Hold Let's hold her. So I'm so tell here. The truth. I'm tell here to piss truth. her off. <laughs> um, at the end of every film shoot, I go back to my life and I just crawl under a rock. But um, Joy Luck Club was different because of this lady. For the past 30 years. <laughs> Ming Na would not let me separate. I, she fights for that connection. She's the dedicated helicopter mom to my surly teenager. I routinely reject public social engagements only to be pulled out into the light by Ming. We have a Joy Luck Club sisters group chat organized by, guess who, Ming Na. And don't tell her this. I've muted it. <laughs> it's loud and it dings. Well, it's dingy. Um, but Ming will not be muted. She will call if I don't respond. Our first small reunion was organized by a film festival. It was 20 minutes away from my house. And I confess, I sent a very flaky text response about my attendance. Ming called. Roz. At least meet me for a dinner beforehand. You are going. Needless to say, I changed out of my sweatpants. I met Ming for dinner a little bit late. I'm sorry. And she dragged me, underdressed, of course, to the event. And years ago, when the Academy was having the 25-year celebration for Joy Luck Club, I had to bow out. But because of my history of bailing, I received copious texts from Ming. Where are you? I didn't answer. Long text, long text, this long. I finally answered, phew, she believed me. Of course, she had already found out where I was. She's smart. But the last time helicopter Ming text, hey, where are you? I became that obnoxious, surly teenager again. I answered, none of your business. This made her text me even more. Roz, I'm serious, where are you? Ming then stalked my socials and commented on them. I found you! <laughs> I love being found by Ming. I'm gonna Aww. cry. We all love being found by her. She fought for that connection with her Joy Luck Club sisters. She's been our leader we are here today because of her dedication to our sisterhood. It's been 30 years. Our sisterhood has been forged from our entwined past, 
present and future. And that has been pure joy, thanks to Ming. Ming, <laughs> you've been a trailblazer and you have worked so hard for this moment. I told you, <laughs> I told you in our text, you deserve this and we could not be more proud of you. And now I'm going to go climb back under my rock until Ming Na pulls me out again. Thank you so much. They said the director needs a director. Okay. Ming Na said, uh, I thought I'd walk down because I needed my space. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. Um, okay. So we've greeted those who are watching the live stream around the world. Oh we've said hello to your special guests. But you know, there, you have hundreds of fans in front of the El Capitan Theater behind me and across the street. So hello, everyone. And you have a few special friends uh, in the audience today. So let me introduce them one by one. There's uh, Janet Yang. <laughs> Bryce Dallas Howard. John Ridley. Q Ching. And uh, hiding under a very elegant hat. A walk of famer in his own right, James Hong. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce administers the Walk of Fame on behalf of the City of Los Angeles and on behalf of the City Council member who represents Hollywood, Hugo Soto Martinez, I'd like to present you, Ming Na, with a city resolution. So on behalf of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, we now declare today Ming Na Wen Day in Hollywood. <laughs> now, take it away, Ming Na. I'm loud. Thank you. No, that's okay. It's okay. Um, hi. Hi, everyone. Well, here we are. Crazy. Okay. Um, thank you, Roz, Tam, Lauren. Um, those words uh, mean so much to me. You know how much I love you guys. 
and uh, I can't wait for the days when you all get your stars because you all deserve it. You've all kicked ass for so many years, as much as I have. And, um, and we, need, we need to just like pave this Hollywood Boulevard with more Asian talents. Q, my mom, my movie mom right there. I see you. Uh, Janet Yang, Madam President. Love you, love all of you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you everyone here for coming. Thank you to the fans. Thank you to the press. Um, <laughs> Steve, and thank you, thank you. I, I, I'm just gonna say thank you the whole time, but um, I actually wrote a speech, so I'm gonna say that instead. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to drink this in. <sighs> you know, it's a really special way to celebrate AAPI Heritage Month by ending it with something as tremendous as this. James Hong is here, who at 93 years young became the oldest but most vivacious star inductee. I am so happy that you are here. I know, I am so happy that you, we are 2022 alums, they didn't just pick one Asian, that we got four of them, right? This year, and you and I are of the two. Um, James, you continue to pave the way. You are a trailblazer, and I'm so grateful since Mulan days that we have worked together and we're still working together. We got gremlins coming up, um, amazing. And of course, I, I have to thank Amy Tan, uh, who couldn't be here today. She's uh, very busy still. I love, 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 love you, Amy. The Joy Luck Club changed my life in so many ways. Her words made me realize I wasn't alone in my struggles growing up as an Asian woman in America. Her words, in collaboration with Ron Bass and Wayne Wang, gave us a classic film that I am forever blessed to be a part of because I also gained some of the most amazing friends and sister. It, I, I, you know, I, it's our sisterhood that sustains me. It really is. And, um, and we've been through everything. We've been through it all. Um, you know, and I have to say something, a, a real quick word about words. They come from writers. Without writers, there are no stories. And therefore, no Hollywood. Without writers, we wouldn't be here, none of us would be here. Without writers, there would be no Walk of Fame. So I just want to give a quick shout out to all our writers. Some of them are right in here in this group and I support you wholeheartedly. Um, I am overwhelmed by this extraordinary honor, an honor that never, ever occurred to me to dream of. I'm not gonna cry, let alone strive for. Ming-Na Wen Day? I mean, do you know how crazy that is? You know, and I have to be honest, I have had such a love-hate relationship with my name. Living in America with a name like mine, trust me, it wasn't easy. In fact, it sucked. It has been mispronounced, misspelled so many times. Me nay, me now, mis na when. You know, it's amazing how three simple syllables could trip up so many people. In fact, I actually worried about it being cemented wrong for today's ceremony. It isn't, right? It's, a, it's, it's all good. <laughs> um, you know, and I remember there was a director who advised me to um, anglicize it so that it would be easier to remember, but um, I didn't listen to him. I guess now that it's Ming-Na Wen Day, I made the right move. <laughs> So um, growing up, my Chinese name may not have fit or made me feel like I fit in white suburbia, in Hollywood even, or, or even in America. Um, it made me feel like an outsider, a foreigner. 
but it also made me more determined to make it belong. You know, hell, if they could say Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> they can say Ming-Na Wen. <laughs> and um, I want to talk a bit about my mom. She probably doesn't understand anything that's going on today. But my mom was a single mom from China who sacrificed everything to bring my older brother, Jonathan, and me to America. We were immigrants who came to this country in hopes of having a better life. She got remarried to a wonderful man, the only dad I know, and they had our little brother. And they're here today. I love you, Jonathan. I love you, Lang. We've been through it all. Mom, thanks to you, we are all living the American dream, and this day is dedicated to you. And um, I want to thank you for my name, because uh, it may not be English, but it is American. And I hope my star will help all the Americans out there and anyone else to know that they don't have to be a Tom, a John, a Mary to feel American. They, they do belong. Thank you to Hollywood, Chambers of Commerce, and the Walk of Fame Committee for this profound moment. I share this with every single person who has ever been a part of my life and career. Love to my incredible family, um, my dearest, dearest friends, all of them who, um, some of you guys I've known forever. <laughs> and uh, so many of you flew out. Um, my Carnegie Mellon alums right there. My uh, coworkers, who's also my family. My dream team at Link Entertainment and uh, Innovative Artists. Eric Kritzer. You came along to boost my career when I needed it most. Thank you for bringing Steve, Nevin, Ryan, Zach, Joe, the whole gang, and all your assistants too. I got to give them a shout out because you wouldn't do half as good of a job as without them. I'm just saying. Sarah, Bryce, Mo, Jed, John, Noah. I didn't know you were coming. Noah. You know, I've worked with all of you. Thank you for being here. And uh, thank you to the ones who gave me the opportunity. You guys are all representing all the casting directors. Ah, oh, shit. No. All the casting directors, writers, directors, and producers who have ever helped me to hone my craft as an actor. And thank you to Mark Zunino for this beautiful dress. My glam team, Chaz and Susanna, my dearest friends, and of course, to my most precious fans that are out there. I love you guys so, so much. Um, you know, all I ever wanted to do was to act ever since third grade. It was to entertain people, and I'm going to be really nerdy. This is how nerdy I am. I took Latin in high school. Hi, Judy Hulick, my teacher, my Latin teacher. Mount Libo. The word entertain has the Latin roots of inter, meaning among, and tenere, meaning to hold. As an entertainer, I got to be among you all and got to hold your attention, which is in turn made me feel like I was a part of the group. My love for acting gave me my purpose, but my, per my passion to connect with people to belong is what makes me love everything about this business. And maybe not belonging is actually a good thing. It's what drives me to pursue my goals. But I don't feel worthy of this star. Um, I'm not an A-lister. Um, I've never been nominated for any major awards, although I was a Disney legend. I know I've worked hard and consistently for over four decades. I will work even harder still to earn this star. I've endured countless rejections. I've dealt with sexism, racism, um, so many isms. And I am willing to face these struggles because when the jobs come, 
When the few yeses happen, they negate all the noes, and the fun starts all over again. James, you showed us it's possible at any age. The Oscars this year showed us everything everywhere is possible. And this star, 2,757, shows us it's possible. Um, it's surreal. And I want to thank Disney from the bottom of my Mulan heart. Thank you for sponsoring and advocating for me. Thank you for Joy Luck Club, Star Wars, Marvel, um, and of course, Mulan, the Princess Warrior. I have been with Disney for over three decades, and they have made every one of my dreams come true. Oh, speaking of princesses, can I just geek out just once? Because um, never in my wildest geek dream would I have thought that May would have started with Carrie Fisher, the late, great Carrie Fisher getting her star, and me ending it, and then having Mark Hamill saying, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? How is that possible? Um, it's just, I thank God, Buddha, and the Force. The Joy Luck Club is literally my citizenship into Hollywood. But the film is also my Tinder, because that's how I met the love of my life. Thank you, Roz. My husband of almost 30 years, Eric Michael Z. Eric, you have always had my back. You are, this would not be possible without you. Thank you for being the best baby daddy and giving me two of the most incredible children. Cooper, Michaela, I hope you think mom's a little cool now. Um, I love you guys, I'm so proud of you. Everything that I have done since you guys were born is for you. And um, I love you. And finally, I wanna give thanks to my mom. Her sacrifices made all this possible. Her DNA to survive against all obstacles and struggles to prevail and succeed against all limitations. Her strength, toughness, dignity, and humor. And um, I'm thankful, Mom, that you passed these genes on to me, especially for skin that doesn't wrinkle. <laughs> Mommy, thank you. So thank you for this. I am humbled and I'm very, very honored. Thank you. So, Ming Na Wen, first of all, thank you for those beautiful words. Welcome to the neighborhood indeed. It is time to unveil your star. Are you guys behaving yourselves? Yeah, we're okay. trying. 
No. No, we're not. No, we're not. Shush, what? Tell Michaela. Tell Michaela. Is this, the, is this okay? okay? Are we ready? Just wait. All right. Hold on, hold on. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. one. Here we go. Oh, 